Do you remember in English parts of speech? And parts of speech consist of nouns, verbs, adverbs, adjectives and so on. Parts of speech is the base of English language as it makes up the language. Same way in Java we have tokens. Tokens consist of data types, variables or identifiers, keywords or reserved words, literals, punctuators or separators, operators and assignment. I am Shalini Mittal from Tech Gatha. Welcome you all on this interesting video on tokens. Let's go ahead and understand every token in details. Data types. As the name suggests, it represents types of data. Now, if you wonder why do we need data types, right? Now, basically we create software applications to smooth or ease the human task. For example, calculators. Now, we create applications that ease human task. That means we are working on data. Now, data comes in various forms in real life. Like we have account number, we have account balance, we have our name, we have our addresses, our phone number and so on. You can see these different types of data or information comes in different types. Hence, Java supports 8 data types. As you can see in this table, we have data types starting from byte, char, short, int, long, float, double and boolean. All these data types occupy memory. Now, why do they occupy memory? It's data you are storing. If you are storing something, you need space. And spaces in the computer world are nothing but memories. So, whenever you are storing data, you need to tell the Java compiler or the Java interpreter the amount of space required to store that type of data. And hence, we have sizes in data types. The next token that comes up is variables. Now, if you remember in maths, we have an expression ax square plus bx plus c. In this expression, a, b and c are constants, whereas x is a variable. Now, why, why was x called as a variable? Because the values can vary in x. a, b, c are constant because the whole expression, it remains the same. Same way, Java also has variables that are used to store values. They vary, hence they are called as variables and they represent memory locations. More on to variables in detail in the next video. Now the next token is keywords or reserved words. Why are they called as reserved words? Because they have special meaning to the compiler. For example, if, else, switch, case, break, default and so on. Beware, you never use keywords as your variable names. Now, to explain more on why they are called as keywords or reserved words, just imagine that one of your friend has a name Spoon. Hey Spoon, come here. It's funny, I understand. Why? Because the moment you talk about Spoon, you have an image, it's used for eating. Exactly. There are many words which have predefined meaning to us, which are used for a specific purpose. Same goes in the Java programming languages. The keywords have a specific meaning and you should never ever use them for creating your own variables or identifiers. The next token that comes up is literal. Now literals are again constants the way we saw in the algebraic expression A, B and C. Java has number literals. Numbers again are of two types, integers and floating numbers. Then we have character literals. Remember, character literals are always enclosed in single quotes. Next, we have string literals which are enclosed in double quotes. This is all about literals. The next tokens are punctuators or separators and operators. These are all about the various symbols that you use in a program, maybe to complete an expression or a statement or mark blocks of code. As we go on in the sessions, we will be using all of these punctuators and operators. 
the last token is the assignment operator assignment because it assigns value for example we have a equals to 10 a is a variable on the left hand side of equal to 10 is a value on the right hand side of equal to and values always goes from right hand side to left hand side so assume an example we have a equal to b a is a variable b is a variable but remember this is very very important that values always go from right hand side to left hand side means value of b is being assigned or stored in the variable a so this is all about the tokens available in java and we come to an end of this video next video we will be seeing variables in details till then happy learning take care and bye bye